two pros. Here we are, guys. One rivalry. Touching me? Each episode, these ultimate poker pros will face off in a head-to-head -head competition. <laughs> now, is that the winner gets the glory, while the loser oh gets humiliated. God. Oh, no. Ultimate Poker presents <laughs> Me versus You. What's up? We're here in New York City. We are freezing our butts off. Uh, Dan a little more than me because he's not smart enough to bring a coat. Uh, but we are here at Doughboy's Pizza. <laughs> and we're gonna do uh, another edition of Me versus You. So yeah, we're in New York City. Everyone knows this is the only place to get decent pizza in the entire United States. So we're gonna go inside, try to make some pizza, come out here, taste test it with some real live New Yorkers. Best out of five wins. Hopefully they'll choose my pizza over yours. Not likely. And then the loser, or we're both heading up to Central Park. Loser has to do something that I definitely don't want to do. It's, it's way too cold to do whatever the loser has to do. I really, really do not want to. This is going to be this. ugly. Let's just say I'm winning this competition for sure. All right, this is the crash course of pizza making. This is where it starts out. You're going to grab your dough. Somehow or another, you guys have to figure out how to make this round. So this should be interesting. Okay. You're going to need flour on top of this. Okay. That way it doesn't stick. And then you guys are going to try to make this round and then figure out what works best for you guys. All right. And how long do we have to do this? I would give you guys probably two minutes to save. To be safe? That's probably a, a good amount of time. <laughs> wow. Okay. All yeah. right. This is going to be interesting. You know what? I feel like this is a free roll because you're the one who's like from, you know, you're like all East Coast. You should be able to make a pizza. Uh, no. That's not true. I've never worked in a pizzeria. I just eat the pizza. Actually, I'm real surprised about the technique. The technique is uh, surprisingly working out pretty well. <laughs> That's all I need to hear, Marcus. Those little words of encouragement. Yeah, there's the power pat me on, through. There's the pat on the back. Living you guys on the got this. Reinforcement right now. At this point, I would say they're pretty much neck and neck. It's really going to come down to how they put toppings on this pie and what it tastes like. Because ultimately, we all base our we all base our decisions on how things taste. This is probably one of the most important parts because this is where you're getting your flavor and your taste from. This is where people are gonna bite into it and decide whether it's something that they wanna eat or throw in the garbage. So who's gonna get the vote here is really what it comes down to. <laughs> Mine looks like a pizza. That's gotta vote well for me. You got two different techniques going, two opposite directions. <laughs> we went with a, so far, a classic regular cheese pie. There we go, regular. Regular had to throw that in. Verse. Chicken with a base of fresh mozzarella. You gotta put the bacon on top so that people see the bacon. It's oh, important. thanks for the tip. It's really important that they know it's there. You guys are in good shape. Both of them look great. We're gonna pop these in the oven. Frankie, help me out with this. Give them that one the good spot. The sweet spot. Give it in the sweet spot, Frankie. Frankie, do not help her any more than you already have. <laughs> I saw what you did there with the dough. <laughs> Don't think I wasn't watching. All right, so it looks like uh, we did pretty good. You guys did amazing. Thank you. I think it's a toss-up, and I would definitely let the people decide on this one. <laughs> good luck. Thank you. Thanks. So winning. <laughs> no chance. Either you guys want to try some free pizza? Free pizza? No? Who turns down free pizza? Who doesn't like pizza? New York pizza? City. Unreal. You're tempted. Excuse me, sir. Would you like it's some free pizza? It's garbage. <laughs> no, we, I made this myself. <laughs> Can I interest you in a couple free slices of pizza if you just tell me which one you like better? Okay. Sounds reasonable, right? How's that one? How do you, how do you feel about the pizza? Mm -hmm. Juicy. Feels, yeah. Okay, feels pretty good. Yeah. All right, give this one a taste. The other one's better. Which one do you like better? The other one. Oh, beautiful. I think you're, that's an excellent choice. Sir, enjoy the pizza. They're all yours. But would, would you like some free pizza? pizza? Thank you. Oh, listen, we can't the double sell, okay? We're, we're freaking people out. I really like the simpleness of this. Of this one it has a good, good flavor. Mm -hmm. And um, this one's a little bit more complicated for me, so I'm going to go with this one. Excellent decision! Oh, oh my god, god. I can't believe people of New York, I know their tastes. Okay, Thank you so much for The pizzas are yours, enjoy them both. Would you like some free pizza, sir? Well, what? you guys stop and free eat pizza? it then. They're both good, but I think I had a choice. This one's a little. Oh, yeah! Come from behind! Different? 
different or better? Different, different and better. Oh, and better. You know and that was the key word there. I respect your opinion. Would you like some free pizza? It's I free. Made myself. All you gotta do is just tell us. They won't even make no, eye contact. Are you sure? How you feeling about them? This one I like better. <laughs> what an excellent decision! Excellent. Hey, you have a great day. Thank you so much for helping us out. Enjoy those pizzas, but enjoy that one the most. Right now we're in beautiful Central Park in New York City enjoying the day. It's a little cold out here, but I feel like between this blanket, this hot coffee, Mike at the helm, Clint taking us wherever we need to go, I really can't ask for much more than this. There's a good one there. Don't miss that. Yeah. Got it, Dan. Thanks. Great speed up there, Mike. Hold her steady. There's a nice piece of shit. That is a fresh one. Thanks, Dan. Anytime. Thank Clint. Hey, guys. How's your ride? Good? Yeah? Yeah, don't worry. I got this for you. I'm going to pass it up for you. 